I'm back again with another video. Let me zoom and put it all over here. It's a little bit better now. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but whatever. Um, there we go. Okay, so um, I have just this is like going to be like a, a um, my personal thoughts video on certain things. Um, if this offends you, I do apologize. Um, these are, again, my personal thoughts on just how I feel practicing my good old freedom of speech. <laughs> um, just something you can sip coffee or tea with. I'm drinking tea. I try not to drink coffee too much. But, um, okay, as you guys know, my birthday's in February and I just turned 20. And, um, I'm trying, I'm in school, so I'm aiming to be something later in life. <laughs> And um, I've, I've just gotten to the point where I no longer want to go to clubs like that. Now, I still go to parties, I still go to house parties, little get-togethers, gatherings, shindigs, stuff like that. But I don't really want to go to clubs. Reason being is because I don't like to travel for a club late at night. Two, I don't like the prices of clubs. I never pay more than $10 for a party. And I per preferably will pay less than 5 too. Um, most of the time I do pay less than five for parties or I have a party in my room <laughs> by myself with Netflix. I do not mind. Um, so like, um, I don't like, I, I, I feel as though like I've gotten to the point where I'm like, all right, I have a boyfriend, but I used to go to clubs. I used to come home all the time with like five members, different guys. Hey, let, let me get your number. Let's talk later about this. Okay, cool. I've now gotten to the point where I feel as though the only reason why people go to clubs or parties is really, I mean, yeah, you want to have a good time, but two is to come home with something. Either you're coming home with the number, you're coming home with the person, or you're looking for, you know, when you get numbers, you're looking to see where this can go. I, I think that now that I've realized why I used to go to clubs and parties, I now have. As you guys know, I still have my boyfriend. <laughs> still have. Um, I still have my boyfriend, so it's like, there's really no reason for me to go. I'm not going to give my number out. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to do anything else. Like, there's really no reason for me to go. So I try my best just not to go. Now, if I do go to a house party, I'm going with friends, and I'm going with other people I know who are going to be there. I know these people. I don't want to party with someone who's a complete stranger, because what's going to end up happening is you're going to want my number. I'm going to turn you down, you're going to call me all sorts of names, we're going to get in a fight about it, and then the party's over. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to pay, I'm not going to pay $25 to go to a party, and granted, I'll be with my friends, but it's like, alright, I'm just going to be bumping left to right, and that'll be it, and I'll be doing that for hours. Like, I'm not going to dance with anyone, because I'm not going to disrespect my boyfriend like that, and I'm not going to, like, give out my number, because it's like, alright, what do you do after that? You know? So, like, also, another reason why I don't like going to clubs is because when we get in these clubs, it's like, no one knows how to just, just met, just chill, just, you know, bop a little bit. People want to, I mean, I, I feel like dancing has now changed. And now I see where my grandmother, my mom, my aunts were talking. When I was in high school, I used to grind, I used to do crazy stuff, and that's okay. But I feel as though once you get to college, like, all of that should stop. And, the, again, this is my personal view. I feel as though grinding and acting like you've completely lost your mind, dancing, in quotes, I feel as though that's, like, when you get to college, it should stop. Because it's crazy when you're 20, you're 21, 22, 23, 25 years old, still grinding on a guy as if you're having sex. Like, that means that you want sex. Like, I don't understand if anybody doesn't know that. But, yeah, that's kind of what it means. And it's like, I feel as though that kind of dancing should stop at, at once you hit college because now you're expected to act a certain way. All right, your first year, fine. Your second, third, fourth year, fifth, sixth, seventh, whatever year, it should cut. Like, stop completely. That's just me. I don't, I don't want to go to a party and dance like that. I'm going to just bop in my heels or do whatever. And I'm good. That's not my, that's not the case anymore. It's like, people still feel like that's A-OK, -okay and I just don't. Now, another thing that I don't like is the fact that 
when you go to parties, it's like, um, you can, girls want to be cute, and I don't mind. Like I like to get cute too, and I'll dress in a dress. I'll dress in a short dress, and you know stuff like that. But I'm getting to the point where I'm allowing God more into my life now, and I know that I can't be walking around with like mad boobs exposed, and you know my dress that just cuffs my butt slightly, so you still can see my butt cheeks. Like I don't want to do that anymore. And now it's like, all right, like okay, I don't want to dress like that anymore. So what do I wear? Now, you can't really, some clubs don't let you wear jeans. Some clubs want you to dress up. But it's like, all right, now the summer and spring months are coming. And I'm going to, I'm personally making the conscious decision to start wearing longer skirts, which means that they're knee length or longer. And preferably, I like maxi skirts. Um, I'm going to start wearing dresses that are knee length and lower. Like, I don't, I don't want to expose myself anymore because now I don't want to send out that message like, hey, I'm available, let's talk. I want to send out a message that I'm a respectable young woman and you are to respect me by watching the way I dress. Now, ladies, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that if you dress in that way that you're going to be, you're supposed to be disrespected or you're, you know, you're supposed to be spoken to a certain way. But please understand this. When you do dress like you're coming out of a strip club, you're going to be approached like that too. Granted, there are some guys that would still look at your butt in jeans and be like, hey, that's a nice butt. You could simply turn around and be like, excuse me, I don't know who you're talking to, but check yourself. Don't approach me like that and don't disrespect me like that. And that's all you have to say. But when you walk out with a dress that's like just touching your crotch, yeah, you're kind of asking for it if you ask me. I don't dress like that anymore. I don't think that I ever really particularly dress too much like that either. And again, as a Christian woman and maturing, I'm kind of like, all right, like it says in the Bible, don't lust. If I'm giving a guy the opportunity to look at me and lust after something he thinks I have, I'm kind of helping him sin when you really get down to it. That's just my personal take on it. So, I don't know what the message of this is. It's just that, like, me personally, I'm making more changes in my life. And I'm making more dress changes. I'm making more attitude changes. I'm making more Christian changes. So, I think that as you age, the, the, these kind of things are something that you should think about no matter what. I don't care if you're in college, if you're in high school. You could want to make these changes at any at any point in your life. Just, just understand that... There are certain things in life that you're going to get tired of, and there are certain things in life that you're going to want to change. Certain things in life you're going to want. When you want certain things, you got to work for them. And when I mean work for them, it's like, all right, I want to be more respected, but why am I being disrespected? When you come down to why, you come down to what. When you come down to what, you want to make changes. I hope that makes sense, but this is just my personal intake on the whole thing. So thank you guys for watching, and...